Hello, and welcome to King Pasha's Garage, and today, I'm showing you this. This is a uh, wicked, fun, points drift car. This is my old drive drift tune. It's an S1900 Ariel Atom 500 V8 from 2013. Let me show you the share code for that thing. God, I needed to put my stuff on uh, Do Not Disturb. So we'll just do that real quick here. That's so then, you know, you don't see any of those messages pop up. Anyways, there we go. All right. Yeah, so this thing is pretty wicked. Um, I've tuned it twice. Uh, this is the old tune, um, and I made it better. Um, as you can tell, it's slower, but it's slower to zero to sixty. But uh, I had a top speed of two forty-eight. But then um, I took it online. I didn't like it. I uh, I got rid of the tune, but it's still there because it's Horizon, and um, it does ten times better. Uh, it is uh, it controls better. Uh, I I took it online again and destroyed the rooms with it. And I said, okay, it's good. So. Got the uh, racing V12 in here. Got 825 horsepower on drag tires. It is pretty crazy. I will drive the course. Stock, naturally aspirated. Really couldn't put a turbo in there. Um, it just wouldn't let me. All right, I had everything taken off so uh, I could um, add power to this thing. I, I worked all around it just to... Uh, figure things out as you can tell it's got the drag tire compound on there um, it's got the heavier rims of course so I can add some more power to this thing and as you can tell these things are offset only because if I try to uh, you know go with the largest rims as you can tell it goes to an S2 um, so I had to do it that way all right same with all of this stuff even if I try to bring it down it would go to an S2. So I had to do everything in my power to get you guys uh, as light as possible and as powerful as possible. So we got a 9-speed transmission. Could have went with a 10, but that would have added weight to it. Um, so we didn't do that. As you can tell, even with an 8-speed, it would be a 901. All right. So I'm um, just showing you guys what I've done to this thing. It's got a race drive line in a drift differential okay it's got stock brakes I understand but as you can tell that would take a lot of power out of the vehicle couldn't do that all right we've got drift springs and, and dampeners on here and of course no roll cage uh, that would increase everything too got a race intake Race intake manifold. Actually, it's an air filter. And then, anyways, <laughs> race fuel system. Stock engine block as it would take you up to a 903. Race valves. Race ignition. Race pistons. And race oil and coolant. The only thing here is the displacement. That's the only thing I couldn't put in there and get like 845 horsepower. Um... I had everything else maxed out for you guys. So just to show you guys, I, I spent a lot of time uh, working on these vehicles for you. and trying to figure out getting the max power possible. Uh, but yeah, so here's the tune. Um, I, I made the tires 15-15 uh, to give you a little bit more control. It, uh, I tried it with 55 and 55, and that was the last tune, and it was just all over the place, like, like all over the road, right? Um, so here we have a nine-speed transmission, um, and pick a gear, any gear, and have fun with it. It's got a, a basic alignment on here that works very well, um, and it's working very well on the uh, drag tire compound. Uh, Anti-row bars are just 20 and 20. Springs, I, I wanted to go soft with this thing. Uh, 255, 236 with as low as you could go. Um, dampening, I decided to... Uh, I didn't want the bounce um, all over the road. I know it's a, it's a go-kart. So I just stiffened it all the way through. 
Uh, no downforce to worry about. No brakes. Who needs them, right? And then my differential, 76, 86, 97, 97, and 71% going to the rear. And that seemed to be uh, good. I tried 84, 63, 71 seemed to work the best, um, at least for test driving. And then when I took it into the online drift lobbies, it, uh, it worked very well. So we're going to take it outside and uh, see how it does. So it's very quick off the line. I mean, that's because of the drag tires, you know. But the gears are close enough to each other where you can drift this thing with ease. And for drag tires, you know, they can be a handful of times, but in this thing, no, they're, they're quite wonderful. They, they, they work very well. It's very controllable. It's got handling, controlling, everything you could possibly want out of a drift car. And this one does it very well. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy this thing. This definitely is definitely my top uh, 10 faves of, uh, of drift cars. Uh, just because it has the drag tires, it, you know, drag tires to me can be um, a different game, uh, a different animal, that would be a good word, um, from the other tire compounds. Uh, but uh, this, uh, this works out fairly well. Gets the job done. Um, it, it slides, even with it being 15-15. Um, tire pressure, uh, it, it, it's a slider, as you can tell, it, it went off the track there, it's a slider, alright, you're gonna have more fun with this thing, uh, as you can tell, I'm, you know, feather in the throttle, you kind of have to, you know, um, she will go, she will just drift for days if you keep it forward when you're not supposed to be keeping it forward. But here I can floor it. But it's such a big, uh, you know, piece of road. You can do that. You take time with her, and uh, yeah, she'll uh, she'll teach you what she can do. Mm -hmm. Slides for days. Slides when you need her to slide. It grips when she needs the grip. Which is hardly ever. So much fun. It's like your own personal drift go-kart. If you, if you think about it. And then, she, you know, because she's got those drag tires, she just takes off uh, when you floor, you know, so, you know, stuck to your seat, excitement. Very fast. Fun all the way around, love this thing. And it drives straight. What else could you want? It's very fast. I haven't taken it to see what its top speed is. I guess that'll be up to you to see what it can do. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely uh, a thrill to um, take out. Look at that, I'm just destroyed with all those points. Without seriously wrecking the thing. So that's, that's a plus. But yeah, this uh, this thing's probably pretty cheap. Um, let's go to if you don't have the car, 
Um, I highly recommend it. It's an absolute beast. Um, you know. So you're looking at oh wow it's two hundred thousand for the uh, for the car, um, and uh, I mean I have two of them, and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a trip. Well hey guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did, um, definitely hit that like button. Um, other things you could do with this you can you can have the V12 in there with. 1191 horsepower and it will hit like 240 miles an hour by the end of the drag strip uh, this thing is very fast uh, I've had it to a top speed of uh, 270 miles an hour um, right past the uh, the drag strip once drag strip once you go down the hill and make a right over the bridge you're pushing over uh, 260 270 miles an hour with this thing so it's very fast um, so is it worth the 200,000? Absolutely. It's a multi-purpose. I'd have, that's why I have two of them. Um, you know, one for, you know, racing and one for, um, drifting. Uh, but yeah, so there's that. Well, hey guys, like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely hit that like button. And, uh, yeah, if you'd like to see more, stick around, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay sideways, my friends.